हेलो एंड वेलकम यू ऑल दिस इज साकेत मिश्रा वेलकम यू ऑल ऑन त्रिगुमा अकेडमी सो दिस इज द कंटिन्यू लेक्चर ऑफ द लेक्चर टू दिस इज द लेक्चर टू पॉइंट टू सो इन दिस लेक्चर वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न अबाउट वॉट इज द कंप्लाइंस मैनेजमेंट ओके सो गाइज दिस लेक्चर विल बी वेरी यूजफुल फॉर यू सो इफ यू स्टिल नॉट वॉच माई लास्ट वीडियोज प्रीवियस वीडियोज प्लीज गो टू द सर्विस नाउ प्ले लिस्ट सर्विस नाउ जी आर सी प्ले लिस्ट विच इज अवेलेबल ऑन माई यूट्यूब चैनल and please go there and watch the old videos which will help you a lot to understand the grc concepts okay so let's quickly start what is the compliance management okay so the compliance management so you can understand from the word compliance okay so compliance uh, compliance management is the process of planning monitoring and controlling the assessing the it system to ensure the alignment with regulatory standard okay so under the compliance management what we are doing we are planning monitoring controlling and ensuring that every it system which we are using and we are ensuring that is uh, the alignment with the regulatory standard what are the regulatory regulatory standards like we are following some industry standard like iso cmmi level standard so we need to follow certain standards certain uh, things okay so this is the process we are handling through the compliance management okay so under the compliance management the rules are govern essentially every aspect of the business okay so every aspect of the business like like uh, we are working in any it company okay then it as an it company we need to follow certain standard like we need to uh, have a proper employee employee uh, computer internet connectivity or lot of other things these are just basic things but you need to think like a business perspective okay so they need to follow some standard like like uh, for the person uh, the fresher person should get a 4 or 5 lakh package the minimum uh, uh, minimum wage they need to decide it okay so certain rules they need to follow okay which enhance the quality and ensure that product are safe to use or the we are following the social guideline as well to dictate the appropriate office behavior okay so these are the things we are uh, ensuring that employees are uh, satisfied from their work and the product which they we are implementing that will obviously help to the organization no one misuse that so certain rules we are govern and certain rules we are following and the process of the compliance management what is doing planning monitoring controlling and assessing and ensuring the it system align with the regulatory standard i hope it is clear to you under the compliance management we need in the compliance management exit to ensure that a business and its employee and all it relevant it systems are maintaining these standards i mean again employee its the vendor and all things should be ensure under the compliance management we need to ensure that everyone is uh, everyone is uh, maintaining these standards let's say i am a employee of the trigoma academy right so as an trigoma academy there are certain policies okay which i need to Uh, which i need to follow so i uh, as a uh, compliance team uh, the uh, trigoma compliance team will make sure that every employee is uh, following and maintaining the standard like during the working day i need to uh, wear the formal clothes okay so that's why i need to as a compliance manager will ensure that every everyone should follow these rules this is a, like just a basic example but the compliance management is ensure that everyone is ensure uh, that everyone like employee outside it system and everything maintain the rules and they are following the rules and, and they are ensuring that these are aligned with the regulatory standard okay so why compliance management is important for any business okay so basically regulatory standard exist for a variety of uh, different reason many cases are there but actually compliance management the benefit of the compliant management the reason why the most of the organizations are going for the compliance management the reason that it is helping to ensure the essential approval and collected before the specific action can be taken okay like uh, like i am an employee i need a laptop then i need a two or three level approval so at least in future if something happens something disrupted then we have a proper track record okay and we are guaranteeing the financial and being accurately and consistently report like we are having a audit every quarter every yearly okay so it is guaranteeing that there is no financial fraud everything financially as proper accurate and consistently consistently reported okay and we are preventing the risk to the sensitive customer supplier employer and the company data and we are also identifying the escalation path or the notification chain so any we are always ready with the business continuity and the resilience plans if something happened to our business then how can we manage that 
ओके हाउ कैन बिजनेस मॉनिटर द कंप्लाइंसेस ऑब्वियसली कंप्लाइंस मैनेजमेंट रिक्वायर द ऑर्गेनाइजेशन डेवलप अ क्लियर अंडरस्टैंडिंग ऑफ देयर इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर ऑब्वियसली एवरी ऑर्गेनाइजेशन शुड हैव अ वेरी क्लियर विजन अबाउट देयर इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर एंड डिमांड एंड सप्लाई सो व्हाट आर द थिंग्स वी आर डूइंग अंडर द बिजनेस बिजनेस कंप्लाइंस मैनेजमेंट वी हैव अ एसेस assessment like uh, we are doing the some assessment for the processes like some assessment for the vendor some assessment for the employee like uh, most of the organization uh, every month or two months we have a proper training workshop so the, we are assessing the employees or anyone to ensure the that uh, in, to ensure that they are following the regulatory standard we are prioritizing the thing okay we have a capability in compliance to Uh, raise the issue and discover through the control test and identify the audit log okay we will learn these of all things audit what is audit what is audit log how to do that in when we are going to discuss the audit management but we can also do the prioritization as well we have a respond okay so under the compliance if something is like if uh, like there is a one team which is not following or obeying the regulatory standard and they are not following the rule then we can have a proper monitoring and prioritizing the issue okay we have a proper focus through the compliance management and we can remediate them immediately okay when compliance problem are discovered we can compliance management team must review the detail and decide whether it to transfer the it team like id team or the top team any team to the remediation purpose okay and at the report once any change have been made and system have been reassessed we can create a report validating the changes so that we have a proper track record and additionally we can monitor and reporting the occurring and every stage we have a capability service now has a very wonderful beautiful capability of the reporting so we can manage the reporting as well also so what are the main things uh, how can the business monitor compliance so four things assessment prioritization responding and the reporting so what are the some challenges uh, obviously if we are using the compliance manager we need to follow some challenges we need to have some challenges so uh, adhering to the regulation law standard and policy is a necessary aspect of the modern business unfortunately correctly managing compliances may at time be difficult perspective and we can know what are the challenges we are facing like we are facing the growing number of regulations changing the security landscape lack of integration and visibility overlay complex infrastructure and third party integration so these are the few challenges we need to face while we are um, like a uh, part of the compliance management team okay so these are the few challenges but we can also handle these okay and what are the best practices okay uh, to ensure the compliance management is working perfectly fine we can ensure that regulatory compliance team Uh, uh, capable to monitor analyze and report all relevant environment we should ensure that compliance management team have a proper access of the tool and they can uh, perform and monitor each and everything and analyze each and everything as per their specific role like a compliance manager we have a compliance manager who is able to uh, analyze report and prepare anything but at the same time compliance user is only analyze the things but he cannot uh report the thing so something like that okay and uh, we can perform the daily system scan if we are a part of the compliance team we need to do the uh, com uh compliance uh, system scan with the real time data reviewing the refining the policies we are refining reviewing the policies retiring the policies okay staying current on new regulations and integrating automation and up to date all the patches like every system had their patches like we are using the service now then obviously we service now suggesting some patches so we need to install those patches as well so this is all about the compliance management so here we have finished the lecture 2 entire things we have covered the lecture 2 2.1 2.3 so total three lecture we have covered and hope it help you a lot to understand the basic terminology i again repeat you what we learn in this lecture we learn what is business continuity plan we have learned what is business uh, resilience plan what is the different of the business continuity and business resilience plan what are the benefits okay and how can we implement uh, the business continuity and resilience plans what is the compliance management so all of these things we have covered in this lecture now next lecture i am uh, going to show you how to install the plugin what plugins we need to install and how to do uh, how to start the demonstration and how to work on practical real time okay and the same time one by one we will go to the main important applications like a uh, risk management policy and compliance management audit management okay believe me guys this series will help you a lot 
to have a better understanding of the GRC. Okay, so thank you so much for uh, watching the video. And if you still not subscribe the channel, kindly subscribe the channel and hit the bell icon. I know you guys are watching the video but not subscribing. Kindly subscribe the channel because your love boost uh, our confidence uh, to to make a such type of videos. Thank you so much, friends.